The following is a production of the Pritzker Military Library. Matt, I want to come back to you. Why did you start? What was the story? I think there was a, a, a loss of a good friend that was involved right. in your starting your blog. Right. First of all, I'd like to promote our friend from the Army here to, uh, to four-star general and put him in charge of public affairs for the entire Army after that. Um, <laughs> but second, um, it, why I got started was a good friend of mine whose name is Matthew Schramm. He's from Brookfield, uh, Wisconsin, uh, just outside of Milwaukee was um, leading a resupply convoy for the 3rd Armored Cavalry. Um, and his unit was ambushed um, on their way to, to resupply another um, unit. In 2003. In 2003, on Memorial Day of 2003, about 7 o'clock in the morning. And um, he uh, turned his vehicle into the ambush. And as your military viewers will know, the only way you can get out of an ambush is to turn and fight into it. Uh, if you try to run, you'll just get cut down. You'll get shot. And um, so, so he fought back, and um, in the ensuing battle, he took two bullets into his armpit where there isn't um, any body armor coverage, and he was killed instantly. Um, it was at his funeral later that I found out that um, he had a reporter with him from a major uh, news magazine, um, and basically the reporter lived to tell the tale and didn't um, because of my friend. And you know, in, in the military, you, you, sort of, you, you sort of understand um, some of the roles that the media pass to play, and um, and it, it, that just incensed me. I was I was very angry about the fact that that Matt's sacrifice went unnoticed. Was this a national news magazine person he was yeah, with? Yeah, and I've, and, and I've be, been advised not to not to no no I understand stones, that. But, but there's so much coverage of individual deaths. The, the, for sure. example, on our commercial stations, right. would it be that that particular reporter? In other words, one story, one death right. maybe wasn't enough for a national news magazine where they take the larger it, it could, view. It could be. Uh, but Matt's story is a pretty interesting one. In he didn't have itself. to be out there, did he? Uh, who, who didn't? Matt. No, he actually volunteered to lead the convoy. He, he was, um, he's a logistics officer yeah. and uh, extremely, extremely passionate about making sure that all the troops were supplied and taken care of. But, it, but it's not just that. I did talk to the reporter later on, and, and he thought um, he had a lot of issues wrong about what was going on. So oh. I don't even know if his, uh, the quality, I mean, we could, we could talk for hours about it, but he, he thought Matt was married with kids, Matt was not, he was single, didn't have any children. There was a lot of issues that he just didn't get. And he worked for a national weekly magazine. Wow. A news weekly magazine. Wow. So anyway. <laughs> Maybe sent him back to boot camp. Uh, right. And, and, and so anyway, what this did was it made me upset. I was uh, angry about that issue. And, um, and, and there were a lot of other things that were going on about the coverage of the war that I just knew was, were, were wrong because of my military background. And I could tell where, where there were some holes in the reporting. And so I had been following blogs for a little while and just decided to start one. And I thought if I had 150 people visit a day, it would be a huge success. Um, and that's how I got started. This has been a production of the Pritzker Military Library.